I just want to show you why we use the black and white differently, depending on the black and white layer mask differently, depending on what we're doing. If we're putting the layer mask directly on the layer, notice I've made that the layer, this layer purple, the mountains layer. See this little purple? You can do that to any layer. Um, I'm going to turn this off and go to the sky layer. If you, I'm going to right click and go down here where it says color. I'm going to make that red. See? And that, it's a good way to organize. I actually like to use color coding. So while I'm at it, I'm going to give the attributions. This particular photo, this beautiful picture, was done by Lorenzo Lucci. And the other beautiful picture was done by Erland, this picture here, Erland, and I can't pronounce his last name. So these are the pictures I'm using. I got them at Creative Commons. But now what we want to do here is block off the sky here in this mountain picture so that we can have that other beautiful sky behind it. So we have to be on the mountain layer. I'm going to get the quick selection tool. It's this one looks like a brush with a little dotted line. It defaults to add to selection, but check it because it if somebody else shares your computer, it might not be there. This, automa this automatically enhanced the selection edge is not usually checked in the options bar. I don't know why it's not a default, but it's not. But if you don't have it checked, you're going to get a very jagged edge. So only if you want a jagged edge do you want to leave that like that. Now, I'm going to select the mountains. With auto enhance, it's just brilliant. It's not perfect always, but it's brilliant. Uh, it's one of those new tools that took me a while to get used to, sort of like magnetic lasso. Now we've got this selected, so very easily we can go to the marquee tool and select the rest. Hold shift, see the plus, make a plus, and now all that's selected. Now, oh, I missed a part here, so I'm going to have to go back to the quick selection tool, get this little snow covered spot here and here and we've got that so i'm going to add the layer mask and the top part should be black because we want to hide the sky on the mountains layer and it is sometimes i have to invert it because i'm not sure but there we've got that new sky and now I want to change the color a little bit, the saturation in here, and add some contrast to the mountains and the water. So I will go over here to my adjustments. Now adjustments generally add a layer mask by default. That's how I've been working so far, and I that's how I work. But if you want that shape, you want it to be the exact shape, so you don't really need it. And I just want to show you that you don't have to have it. You can replace a layer mask and copy a layer mask to another layer. So I'm just going to turn it off just so you can see what it looks like because we haven't looked at it yet. And get hue saturation. Now hue saturation right now, if I click colorize, everything gets colorized. And we really don't want that. We want to just colorize the mountains and the water. So I'm going to hold down the Option key, Alt on a PC, and copy this layer mask to here. We still don't want that color. Uh, I'm going to click on here to bring the properties up, see how it changed. If I was down here, it changes because and gives me the mask properties. If I go up and click the actual adjustment icon, it gives me the editing capabilities of an adjustment layer. So I'm going to turn off colorize and move my color. I don't want my color more purple. 
I want it more blue. It looks like it's getting kind of blue green now. Let's see, right here in the cyan area. I know there's something called cyanotype here. It's kind of intense. Well, that's not too bad. I'm just going to leave that. That's basically for having the printer print a cyan colored picture. So I'm going to leave that like that. Now I want levels. I want to increase the contrast of the mountains and the water. So I'm going to go to levels and again I'm going to make a copy of the layer mask so that it only affects this part. I'm going to click the icon to bring up the editing capabilities of that. And this way I can move my arrows under the histogram to get that a little bit better. I'm not sure it's believable, but you get my point. So that's when, when you use a layer mask on a picture, the white part that you want to color correct shows through. Now let's say we wanted to color correct the sky instead. Well, here I'm going to go back to hue saturation and I'm going to invert this. And the way to invert any picture, this picture as well as the layer mask picture, once it's a picture, is Command I. So now, actually, they look a little more alike. What's happening here is the white is up here and it's only impacting the sky layer. It's not having any effect on the layer mask. I'm sorry, let's see in the channels. The channel got turned on. If you somehow see orange and you didn't want to, the channel of the layer mask got turned on. So just turn off the eyeball. Uh, you can edit in that mode. I'll show you in another lesson. But now this kind of looks like it was all taken at the same time. So that's super basic layer mask.